Okay, so let's go over a few features in NoteShelf. Um, the one thing I really want to encourage you on is that if you want to learn more about your application in which you have chose to um, upload your planner, definitely check out the website. So in this case, I encourage you to check out NoteShelf's website. They have a blog. They have awesome tutorials and tips and tricks on how to better learn more about NoteShelf, which will only help your digital planning experience. So up here at the corner, we have our plus sign. This is where you can add um, you can add audio recordings, you can add photos. If you want, you can record something and then like type. So it's like, it's like a really cool note feature. I don't really use it that much when it comes to planning. Um, but that is there. And then in addition to the photos, you can add different pages, documents, you can scan in documents, and then you could also bookmark certain pages. Um, so if there's like a page that maybe we didn't have a tab for, you can bookmark it and then you can always have access to it. It's kind of like a favorites. Right here is your undo button. Right here is our pencil button. So if I click that, so we have different pencil features. We have um, this, I would say, is more of like a, I don't know, like it reminds me of the tip of like your felt tip, like your paper mate for your flare tip pen kind of pen um, and we can totally like test that out and actually let's go to our note pages so we can have some fun and write some things down so this is more of like um, a flare tip this is definitely a fountain pen and then this would be more of a, like a fine tip it reminds me more of like the micro perm kind of pen and up here allows you to change the sizes of them and down here allows you to change the colors. Now earlier I had talked about our color palette and while we're at it let's you know what let's just do it. Let's talk about how you can add Moxie Life colors to your pins. So I'm going to go to edit. Well you know what I have to pull up our color palette first. So I'm at my color palette and I want to incorporate these colors into my pen and highlighter um, color toolbox, essentially. So up here is our pencil tab. And so I want to, you know what, I'm actually, one thing I want to do is I would love to put this in a split screen view. Um, and I'm going to do that. Let's see? just so I can pull up my color palette while I'm adding the colors and see them all next to each other. Open split screen view. And I'm gonna open up note shelf again cause I can open them at the same time. So I'm gonna zoom in on this so I can see those colors and those hex codes. And then I'm going to go up here and I click the pin button and I want to add a color and go to edit and let's just add select all delete um let's go ahead and add this really nice blue so eight four oh let me make sure I put our um hashtag eight four um, A8, and then C5. I'm going to press add, and then it's officially added. And then I could do that for all the other colors as well, but you see where it got added. I'm going to go back, and now I have that blue there, and I'm just going to move this out the way, and that's how you could add colors and incorporate our color palette into your um, planner, which I think is just really cool. And you can do that with, you know, other different hex codes as well. And so I'm actually gonna just go to our note page, just so we can test out a little bit of these pins. So you have um, our pencil type, and is it on the blue? Yes, okay. So you can see it's very like markery. And then this is our fountain pen. So you can see the difference between that. And then you have like your really thin 
pen. And again, you can just change um, like the different sizes of them as much as you want. And then right here, this is our highlighter. You can have a chiseled highlighter and you can have it as thick as you want, or you can have something that's a little bit more round. Um, round looks like this, you know, let's make it big. That's a round one. And then this would be chiseled. So you can see the chiseled look. And then of course you can set different features where you can save your favorite settings and different colors um, as much as you want. And again, if you wanted to import our Moxie Life colors, you would just go to edit and then add your favorite color, just like we did with the pen. And then we also have an eraser, which you got to know what your, where your eraser is at. And here you can, um, the one thing with this eraser is that you can do it where it erases the entire stroke. You can have it where it only erases the highlighter, just whatever setting that you want it on. Um, it just depends on whatever I'm writing. Sometimes I want the entire stroke. Sometimes I just need to erase my highlighter because I want to keep the text. It just depends. And then we have our text feature, which this is where you could type instead of writing. So if I do my type box and I could, you know, you know, write down whatever I want, like, hey, of course I would write my goals or whatever. Um, and I could easily, you know, change the style of it, change the size of it. Um, different, you know, do I need to bold, underline, italicize, do where do I want it at, just like you would with any other texting um, feature. And of course, if I um, click on it, I can also move it around as well. The next tool I want to talk about is the lasso tool. That's where if, um, say I wanted to highlight this, I could take this and I could move it around. I could resize it and make it bigger or smaller. I could change the color of the font. There's a lot of things that you can do with the lasso tool. I love the lasso feature for when I'm writing um, out my plans. I can easily cop, like the one thing that the, the lasso tool also works with like handwriting. So I could write out, you know, my to-do list. Say I had laundry, dishes, Right? I could just take the lasso tool, circle it, and I could move it. I could, um, the one thing I think is really cool um, is that I can always convert things to text if I wanted to. Um, I can change the color of it, but essentially I can copy it and then if I need it to, paste it. So I can switch it from week to week and different things like that. So I'm just going to delete it now and then I can delete this. And so that's always a really cool feature. And then right here, this is pretty much my pointer. And so this lets me flip between editing mode and stylus mode essentially. So right now, because that is highlight, like so, so essentially I won't leave marks on my planner. Um, I always like to make sure that I'm in that mode carefully. And then over here, this is our shape button. So if I do want to make nice shapes, I'm able to do that very, and it automatically snaps it how it needs to go. I just think that's really cool. So if you wanted to create your own kind of like sticker aesthetics, you're able to do that as well. Let's erase these. Um, this is a share button. So if you want it to share um, our, one thing I like to do with digital planners are, you know, my digital memory spreads is that I'm able to export them kind of like as like a like a presentation almost and like view them so you are able to do that these paper buttons right here this is how you view your whole entire planner and the different pages and this is where um, you could rearrange things I don't really encourage you to rearrange stuff and I don't encourage you to delete pages from the Moxie Life digital planner because it can mess and interfere with the hyperlinks and we don't want that but you can add as many pages as you want and then we have settings which is just um, like just different stylist settings going to certain page numbers 
um, again it's just like your standard setting so that is pretty much like a quick tip tour of a note shelf and again if you have any questions or want more specific nitty-gritty things of how to do things with a note shelf again I encourage you to check out their website they offer great tutorials and a lot of people also give a lot of their input there as well